Last time I was making trims for the companionway and inside the cabin. The time had come to fit the chain plate so I measured around the sides of the bow to mark the correct location. Then I marked the position to drill a hole for the top bolt only. The reason for this will become clear very soon. I pushed the top bolt through to hold it in place and then held the top bolt in place with a piece of tape so I could fix the nut on the other side to hold everything together. Then I fixed a shackle, a short piece of rope and a turnbuckle onto each chain plate. Then I set about fitting the pad eyes to the top of the mast. I used pieces of tape to mark the position for each of these and then screwed them into place. I didn't use any sealant at this point as I'll be removing the pad eyes again and fitting them properly in the near future. At this point I also fitted the pad eyes onto the bowsprit. The next job was to fit some stainless steel thimbles onto some stainless steel rope that would attach onto the pad eyes. Uh, these would form the shrouds or the cables that would hold the mast at either side. I swap these for the pad eyes at either side of the top of the mast. Next I put the bowsprit in position and secured it at the base of the tabernacle. I also taped a wooden block in position to give the mast its correct rake or backward slope. Now at last the time had come to try and raise the mast. I started by attaching a rope onto the pad eye on the front of the mast. Then fed this rope through the pad eye on the bowsprit. before raising the mast. I haven't yet cut down the pivot bolt on the mast and this of course snagged the rope. I tied off the rope to hold the mast upright. Then I was able to pass the shroud through the tops of the turnbuckles so I could mark these for fitting thimbles to these later on as well. I clamped these temporarily in place which pulled the chain plates into line so I could now mark the holes for the other bolts. Next I drilled a hole for the bow eye.
With the bow eye in place, I was able to measure the cable to make the bob stay. Then I set about fitting thimbles onto all the new rigging.